I'm John Barker, this is the Skull and Mortar Kitchen, and today we are going to smoke a chuck roast, and we're gonna turn it into pulled beef tacos. Holla at your boy. So first things first, we got a delicious looking chuck roast here. As you can tell, it's got a good intermuscular fat. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna hit it with our brand new rub, God Save the Queen. It's a Windsor rub. It's perfect for any steak, beef, anything really. Pop this bad boy open. As you can tell by looking at this rub, it's got a whole lot of coarse ground spices in it. It's gonna allow for a lot of like really great pops of flavor. And the best thing about it is you can buy it at skullandmortar.com right now. God Save the Queen, a Windsor rub. Now we're gonna wanna get a good coating of this all over this chuck roast. Don't be intimidated by those large pops of spice. They're gonna melt down some, they're gonna create a good little crust on here, and at the end of the day, it will be 100% fire, unlike whatever the hell Terry, unlike whatever the hell Terry cooked this weekend, cause Terry sucks, go to hell Terry. I just wrote that song, and be on my next album. Now we got our skull and mortar rub also available on the website. We're gonna go back over it with just a light coating just to get some little pops of flavor in there. It's also gonna help with the color. We're not gonna worry about getting the sides with this. We just wanna make sure that we get the front and the back, the top and the bottom, whatever you wanna call it. Guys, that's literally all the pre-prep we're gonna do for this right now. We're gonna have some other steps here in a bit, but we're just gonna keep the pre-prep basic. I am gonna put this in a pan because I wanna catch these juices. One, it's gonna keep my smoker from being as nasty. Two, I wanna use the juices when I fold the meat and pull it into taco meat. Let's get it on the smoker, 250 degrees, and it should take about two hours and we'll come back and check the internal temperature. I am gonna throw a probe in it so I can monitor it from afar. Guys, while we are waiting on our meat to get ready, as soon as you throw it in, we're gonna go ahead and make our slaw because we want our slaw to kind of have time to, you know, get the flavors melded and whatnot. Now, some of you guys are gonna wanna cut fresh cabbage, carrots, all that stuff, however you like it, that's fine. But this mix is gonna do good enough for me. Um, I don't wanna chop a bunch of cabbage. It's already chopped, so I'm just gonna do it that way. Feel free to make it as hard or as easy on yourself as you want. But I'm gonna throw one whole bag, which is roughly one pound. Then I'm gonna take a few jalapenos here and I'm just gonna dice them. And if you like this board, you already know it came from my boy at Cradle to Engrave. Make sure that you check them out on Facebook. And we're just gonna chop these right down a long way like this. I wanna keep them long, cause I wanna have the bite of the jalapeno in there. I wanna cut it similar to the cabbage so that it's a similar feature in my coleslaw. Now I know some of you guys are like, what is up with that busted knife? Well, I left all my knives at the kitchen, my whole knife roll. Uh, and if you're wondering what kitchen that is, well, of course it is the Triton Brewery Kitchen. If you wanna eat food cooked by me, then head over to Triton Brewery in Indianapolis, Indiana. It's at Fort Bend and Lawrence, and I'll cook for you. Love to meet you guys. Come on in, ask for me. I'll come out unless you're Terry. Terry can go to hell. Terry's a son of a bitch, and I'm not interested in hanging out with him. By the way, quick uh, little bit of information for you guys. Do you wanna know what the nosiest pepper is? It is the jalapeno, because it's, it's jalapeno business. Get it? You get what I'm putting down? Jalapeno business? All right, so we have our slaw mix right here. Now we're gonna mix about a half a cup of sriracha aioli in here. That's right, we want it to be spicy. We're gonna use the, the um, we're gonna use the sriracha flavor and about to get a good medium heat on these things. We don't want them to be overbearing. 
All right, so now we're gonna put about a teaspoon of pepper. We're gonna put about a teaspoon of salt straight out of the box. You guys should measure this if you're not comfortable with it. We're gonna hit it with just a smidge of celery seed, whole. And finally, we're gonna drop about a quarter of a cup of red wine vinegar in there as well. Now we're gonna put this lid on here. And we're just gonna shake it on up. That's it. Now we're just gonna let that kind of do its thing and juice up. So we'll check back here in a couple hours, my guys. Guys, so we have this chuck roast up to about 170 internal now. All right, guys, we have some of our skull and mortar brisket mop that's not out yet, but it might be soon, but we have it in the pan, right? So what we're gonna do is we wanna keep all that moisture in here. The moisture that we got in here, we did, we put a lot of moisture in here. And the reason we did that is so that it will steam up through the meat and really break down those fat fibers, uh, really work itself in there. And we want as much beef flavor as possible inside this beef. We want it just so rich with beef, beef flavor. Like, uh, I know Terry's gonna be out there. He's gonna be hating on me, talking about how I'm not a real pit master because I used a mob. But Terry can go to hell because he ain't doing it like we are. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up as tight as possible because we don't want any of that moisture getting out of there. All right guys, so I made a little change into what we were gonna do. I decided that instead of pulling this all the way out, which we could, I wanna go ahead and slice it more like brisket. Uh, only I'm gonna slice it with the grain, which is still gonna get me kind of the look I was going for. So we'll be able to easily kind of pull that apart and look at that. As you can see guys, we have a nice solid little smoke ring right here. Right here. This didn't take all that long to smoke, so we don't have like some super huge crazy smoke ring. But for the most part, we're just gonna go ahead and slice this with the grain, uh, and that's gonna help us kind of shred it out. But as you can see, man, this thing is so tender. It basically is just falling apart. Look at that. So you guys know what time it is, right? It's time to, to give it a taste test. All right, guys, it's been a while, but we got Fred in the house, and today we are gonna put these tacos together, and I'm gonna put my toughest critic to the test. All right, guys, so we're gonna take our beef, we're gonna give it one more little spin in our juice there. We're gonna drop it in here, we're gonna hit that coleslaw we made earlier. A little pinch of that slaw on there. A little bit, oh, you don't like blue cheese, right? So we won't make him have any of the smoked blue cheese. There's yours, hold on one second. I'm gonna get me a couple of pieces of beef, dip those in the juice. Bam. Bam, coleslaw. Bam, a little smoked blue cheese all over the place. We gotta feed the floor, obviously. And now it's time to give it a bite. Yeah. That's hot fire, dude. What do you think? That's good. On a scale of one to 10. 10. That's what's up. If it gets a 10 from Lil Squirt. Oh my God. If it gets a 10 from Fred, then you know it's gotta be solid because this dude is always crapping on me every time I have him on my YouTube channel. So there you have it, my friends. The ultimate smoked beef taco. It's very basic, guys. It's just smoked chuck roast. It's just a little bit of sriracha slaw, a little bit of blue cheese for me and not for him. But this is it. If you like this recipe, uh, if you didn't like it, whatever, just leave a comment down below. YouTube doesn't know the difference. Um, that's a lawnmower, and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Skullandmortar.com. Click one of these videos over here, wherever it's at. See you next week, guys. Dude, I made this whole video just so I could use the new seasoning and use this new sriracha infused barbecue sauce called Release the Kraken at skullandmortar.com. And I didn't even use the sauce because I forgot all about it in the moment. But I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle it on for the thumbnail so when it's looking mighty saucy, you already know where you can find it. Sriracha infused barbecue sauce, skullandmortar.com. I'm a professional. I don't forget stuff. Whatever. Oh God, it's everywhere now. <laughs> <laughs>